Hello, hello. So we are having some uh, Fed news uh, right uh, out of the oven, uh, very, very fresh. And so I wanted to make a video and tell you about it. You will see that the stock market has uh, pretty much uh, done a U-turn over here. And the indices are now green. They used to be red earlier in the day. Right now, the Nasdaq even is up uh, 1% after Jerome Powell's remarks. So what was said, let's take a little bit of a look. As you will see that the S&P gains uh, for the first day in four, pretty much after Jerome Powell's remarks over here. Remarks about what? About uh, smaller rate hikes ahead. So what was said over here? Let's take a little bit of a quick look uh, at uh, what happened. Now, he said that it makes sense, uh, that's Jerome Powell, to moderate the pace of the rate increases as, they as we approach the level of restraint that will be sufficient to bring inflation down, is what uh, Jerome Powell said. So uh, they have actually done quite a few interest rate increases in the past few meetings, uh, the, the Fed that is. And so they are saying that, uh, you know, it will take a little bit of time to see, you know, the reaction uh, in the markets uh, based on this uh, uh, pretty much increases the rate increases and they probably will slow down on the rate hikes just to see what's be going to be happening in the meantime and of course this is uh, good for the stock market because um, you know with, with interest rates not getting raised too much you know, this is uh, generally speaking uh, good for the uh, for the businesses and so we're probably looking at uh, some uh, positive news here and some positive reactions from the market in the next few days uh, it looks like now Overall stock gains, though they are not that high, as you'll see, because uh, they said that the Fed uh, will potentially stay with restricted policy for a long time before it ends the inflation, inflation fight, which looks to bring down inflation to about 2%. I, know, I don't know how feasible that will be, especially when uh, you know, the actual government themselves are looking to uh, you know, excuse student loans and uh, create more stimulus packages potentially. This is definitely not going to be happening. They are you know, battling themselves if that's the case. But if they stop overspending, then it is a possibility of course. Now, despite promising developments, uh, it may have a long way to go in restoring price stability, is what they said. And the Fed uh, is slated to meet later this month and largely expected to deliver a smaller 0.5% percentage point uh, rate hike. After, you know, four consecutive 0.75% percentage point increases, that's uh, quite significant, as you can understand, uh, but you could still see inflation going, not inflation, uh, interest rates going higher potentially with the Fed increasing them in the upcoming meetings, especially if the, interest, if the inflation is not getting uh, down uh, or it's persistent for a while, which again can happen depending on what the government does, because uh, contrary to what uh, people may want you to think, the vast majority of uh, inflationary hikes are about the government policies. It has little things to do with anything else. It's all about what the government does, pretty much. Okay, so the finer details here, a couple of things that I wanted to talk about in terms of uh, what is going on with, uh, with the uh, labor market it is very, very important. Mr. Powell said uh, that an overheated labor market is needed to cool more, more, even more than what it is right now, which is not cool at all, pretty much. It's pretty tight still. For the Fed to be confident that inflation would make durable downward progress toward the 2% goal. Now... Why is that the case? Why the, the, the labor market needs to go down, which means more unemployment, of course. This, uh, this happens because when you are having a tight market, meaning that um, uh, you know, there are more jobs than actual people to serve these uh, jobs, uh, uh, wages tend to be higher. So there tend to be you know, wage hikes because you cannot actually get more people. You have to uh, you know, pretty much compete with uh, other uh, businesses for resources, which are people. And so this means that you're going to have to pay higher uh, wages. And so this leads to inflation or inflationary pressures, I should say. And this is why uh, Jerome Powell is actually mentioning this one. But I should say that the, the key to battling inflation is not really the, the, the labor market, but uh, the government overspending. Now, if uh, you know there are uh, un there is unemployment, high unemployment, and so you know uh, this means that uh, inflation will will cool the, you know, the part that is dependent at least on uh, the labor market. Uh, if the government keeps on uh, creating stimulus packages or sending money to Ukraine, or um, uh, you know pretty much overspending to anything like uh, again excusing student loans or anything of that sort, they will keep in increasing inflation. That's a def that's a definite thing because that's how you increase inflation. Uh, the labor market is a, is an important thing, but it's not that important again compared to the other things. Because if you keep uh, you know producing money, if you keep printing money, it doesn't really matter whether you have high unemployment. You will still have inflation, 
uh, at least at some you know at least some inflation so it, it will sort of like a kind of battle uh, there are two forces that are going to be battling themselves but uh, printing money is a much much higher uh, force pretty much and so this is what you have to be looking at when you are looking at inflation not so much the labor market this is a distraction uh, the most important thing is what the government the government is doing in regards to money spending that, that's it uh, for the most part and of course the other very very important thing uh, lockdowns and things of that sort like this kind of crap actually destroys the economy and produces extra inflation so if you see that the government imposes more lockdowns this definitely means more inflation and it means uh, worse things for the economy because when you have less people working you have less productivity and productivity is a core thing in relation to inflation in relation to inflation because inflation happens when you have a lot of money for less productivity that's what uh, that's what the definition is pretty much and so that's what's happening right now. We are having these uh, probably lesser hikes in the future. And, uh, you know, we're having the pressures in the economy because of what has happened with the supply chains and all that. But we'll see what's going to be happening in the next uh, meetings, the next Fed meetings. It's very, very important to know what uh, Jerome Powell and the Fed is thinking over here. And uh, again, they are definitely going to be blaming the labor market for a while. But what's important is that uh, the inflationary pressures go down and we see lower inflation. So this is something that we're going to be tracking. Of course, we're going to be talking about it in this channel. But you have to know the facts. And the facts uh, are about money printing is the main, main force. Money printing and productivity, don't forget that, is what really, really causes inflation. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.